Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Agiti, aka Black Girl Scientist. Welcome back if you're a returning subscriber and welcome to you if you are new here. If you're new here, please go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can join the family. <laughs> And I'd also like to encourage you, if you're watching this, to please click the subscribe button. We are so close to 1,000 subscribers. And when we get there, I'm going to be doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway, which is going to include a cash giveaway and a beauty hamper. So we'll be so, so close. So please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about can scientists be rich and some of the top paid science careers. So I've done a series of videos. Um, my last few videos, which started from, you know, what can you do with your science major to what um, can you actually do with your science degree once you have it, as well as the different starting salaries. So that really, you know, initiated a lot of discussion. I got a lot of questions about money. <laughs> you guys like money so um i mean i like money too who doesn't like money if anyone says they don't like money they're lying so check out those videos please go and check them out so like i said for today's video i'm going to be discussing can you be rich if you want to be a scientist are scientists rich out there and you know the top paying majors underneath a bachelor of science as well as some of you know the sciences that are alive and how much they get paid so that is the burning question i'm going to be asking um or answering rather today is that can scientists be rich so if you're interested in this video keep watching so like i said in today's video i'm going to be answering the burning question um that i've gotten is that can scientists be rich and as i said this was really initiated by the last few videos that i've posted so if you haven't watched them please go ahead and check them out so this question can scientists be rich i wanted to first say that being rich or using the word rich is relative so it differs from person to person my definition of being rich may be different from your definition of being rich may be different of your sisters your brothers your aunts your friends everybody has their own definition of being rich but let us start with you know the dictionary definition of what it is to be rich and being rich is basically having excess of assets and money and google also says it's wealthy so being rich and being wealthy are synonyms according to google so it's having abundance a lot a lot of money a lot of assets a lot of things that's what it means to be rich so in the science um field and if you want to pursue a career in science can you actually eventually become rich well, you have to wait for the end of the video to forget that answer. But I wanted to say that, you know, for people, is this a career that you should be going for if you are after money? And I don't think it is for any career. You want to do something that you actually love doing, something that you're passionate about. And I mean, this is something you're going to work in this career for like 20, 30, 40, 50 years. So you want to, have to be able to wake up every morning and be doing something that you really, really love, that you're really, really passionate about, not something that's just going to make you money, which is probably what people do out there as well. But I mean, I know I'd be miserable waking up every day to do a job I hate just because it pays me a lot of money. So that's just something to consider, you know, in this, um, you know, while you're watching this video, while you're considering pursuing a science career because you want to be rich. So I wanted to move to, you know, the top paying science um, careers. So basically the, the top, the top paying science majors. So this is again, um, the list of the top 10 highest paying science careers for inspiration to guide your own science career journey. So number one is a physicist, then an astronomer, geoscientist, is atmospheric scientists biochemists and biophysics medical scientists woo -woo, we made the top 10 <laughs> hydrologists um and material scientists so those are just a few of um the top paying majors and this is just based on how much these science these scientists earn um that work in these particular fields of specialization 
so um the sci scientists that are alive that are actually rich um you know it's the, actually part of the top 10 richest scientists in the world or people it's actually people in the world and some of them actually did have science degrees so one of them that i'm thinking of at the top of my head was myron who was worth 1.3 billion us dollars um and that person had a science degree so um i think we're starting to answer our question here um moving on to you know your journey actually to becoming rich or becoming wealthy as a scientist it's not going to be kind of just a you're going to get an undergraduate degree and you're going to work for a company and boom you're going to be rich it's not going to be like that i don't think any of the people in the world that are rich and wealthy just got rich you know overnight or over a couple of years um they really had to work for it and it took time to get them to that rich status that they hold so i really want to you know you to keep that in the back of your mind that if you're pursuing a career in science you're not going to be rich overnight you're not going to be rich in a few years it's going to take you time to accumulate that wealth and when I'm thinking, for example, you know, of my director right now, I, I would probably put him in the rich category as someone who's close to me as a scientist uh, because he's a director. He's the director of our organization. He's also the vice um, director of another organization. He sits on many, many boards. He's a professor at numerous institutions. He's published, um, you know, over and over and over again so all of those things you know will accumulate to you firstly getting a lot of salaries which means that you're going to have an excess of money and assets so it's that kind of build up you know you start like i said with your undergrad maybe after that you get a job maybe you don't maybe you continue with your honors masters your phd you work maybe go into industry and then after that or if you're going the postdoc way or the academia route then you do your postdoc you supervise students um and then you become you know a senior lecturer you maybe become a head of department and then you become a dean and then you can become a bc and a chancellor so you see how it takes time for you to get to these positions of really high power and high salaries as well and it's an accumulation like that and then when you're all of those things you know you may also sit on different boards that make decisions and all of these jobs that i'm counting are jobs that pay you and that's how you end up having an excess of money an excess of assets and then um for industry for example some of the scientists that i was looking at that um bill gates actually is a scientist he's a computer scientist and we know that bill gates is like one of the most wealthiest people in the world okay so <laughs> yeah so being a scientist um you know is definitely something that can get you to that rich status and it's something that you're going to have to work at some of the scientists that i was reading as well which are considered some of the world's most richest sci richest scientists um have invented things so they've invented products or they've invented um you know medicines different medicines and stuff and that has gotten them to rich status so in answering this burning question of can you be rich if you're a scientist or so are scientists rich and the answer is yes <laughs> yes um they are they are you can be um if you're going the scientist route so there you have it so that brings me to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to click the notification bell so that you're notified every time i post a new video and of course please don't forget to hit that subscribe button we're so close to 1000 subscribers i'm really really excited thank you to everybody that's already subscribed if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe it's free or you need to do a sign into youtube and you just click the subscribe button it is that simple thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you on the next video bye